but this Vino Sun Ocean Protect, amazing. Like I literally love this so much and it's just, ugh, it's amazing. Hi guys. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are talking about sunscreen again. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about the Cordially Very High Protection Lightweight Cream SPF 50 Plus Vino Sun Ocean Protect. That is a long name. <laughs> I have been using this sunscreen for the last couple of weeks. I think this is Cordley's latest sunscreen. Because this is a brand new sunscreen, if you've had your eye on it and you're not sure whether you want to buy it or not, then I think you are gonna find this video very useful. And yeah, before I keep you here any longer with my blabbing, let's jump right into it. So, the Very High Protection Lightweight Cream SPF 50 Plus Vino Sun Ocean Protect is the very first skincare product of the Cordley Solar Revolution. This sunscreen effectively protects the face and neck from UVA and UVB rays while providing antioxidant action to the most sensitive skin. Thanks to its invisible ultralight and fragrance-free texture, you can adopt clean and invisible protection every single day. This sunscreen has 4.5 stars out of five stars, 521 reviews. This is 40 mil and 19 pounds. And in terms of the formula, they say that this is suitable for pregnant and breastfeeding women, has no synthetic fragrances, dermatologically tested, tested on sensitive skin, vegan, and has a UCA score of 93 out of 100. That's pretty good. This sunscreen is also suitable for all skin types, has a fluid texture and is to be used every single morning. In terms of the ingredients, this has three main key ingredients. This has spruce extract. This is an antioxidant that strengthens the skin's defense system. Polyphenols, French grape seed extracts, which are antioxidants and block 100% free radicals. And then finally, this has vitamin E, which is an antioxidant. Now that that is all out of the way, let's Let's get into the review. So first of all, the three main things that I'm loving about the sunscreen is it is super lightweight. I think because it is a fluid texture that, that just adds to the lightweightness of the product, especially in the last couple of weeks, it's been really hot. We've had many heat waves here in the UK and I think on days when it's like 30 degrees, 40 degrees, you don't wanna be layering on really thick, heavy sunscreen products. You wanna feel light and airy and you want your skin to feel breathable. And that is one thing that I really love about the sunscreen and it really is super lightweight. Barely feel this on your skin. That is just a really big plus if you're in a very hot climate or if you don't really like sunscreens and you want a sunscreen that is very lightweight and breathable that you can't feel on your face then this is a really great product the next thing that i love about this is that there is no white cast at all if you've watched any of my previous sunscreen videos you know that there have been a couple of sunscreens this year that have left me <laughs> that have left a lot to be desired let's just say but this sunscreen from the first time i put it on i've not had a single white cast i've not looked purple blue gray none of that stuff it's pretty instant like the moment i put this on my face i just rub it in literally for two seconds and it's already dissolved into my face there's literally no downtime whatsoever so if you're like me you're dark skinned or you just don't have the time to be waiting to be rubbing in your product for that long then this sunscreen amazing i really do like this and i think when i compare this to the vino perfect sunscreen that i tried out last year literally night and day i didn't like that other cordially sunscreen but this vino sun ocean protect amazing like i literally love this so much and it's just ugh, it's amazing and i love i just it's it's amazing really love this then the next thing that i love about this sunscreen is it's just an easy no fuss sunscreen i think when you take into account that it's lightweight no white cast my hairline my sideburn things my brows everything is just normal looking and i like products that i don't have to think about them i'm not having to kind of like gear myself up to apply them you just squeeze it out of the tube you put it on your face and then you're good to go and i just love the convenience of this sunscreen it's such a it's such a simple fuss-free sunscreen and I think especially now that I'm getting older, I just want products that are just gonna be fuss-free. Like I've said, I don't have to think about them. I'm not thinking to myself, oh, can I wear this today because it's gonna take me this amount of time to rub in, it's gonna pill, it's gonna leave me with a white cast. This sunscreen, I just whack it on and I actually look forward to wearing this every single day. Now, I love sunscreen, so that's not really a big thing for me, but I think if you are one of those people that you don't really like sunscreen, it's a bit of a hassle, you're not into your skincare products, you really 
can't go wrong with this sunscreen because it is just so fuss free. Whether you wear moisturiser or you don't wear moisturiser, this is still a really good sunscreen. I've worn this with moisturiser and without moisturiser, so if you prefer a simpler skincare routine with less steps, you can just skip moisturiser, just do a serum and this and then you're good to go. But if you like a bit more in your skincare routine or your skin is just more on the dry side then you can layer this on top of a moisturizer and because this is very lightweight you won't get peeling your skin won't feel like thick and suffocating -y. that's my word your skin won't feel like fussy like there's a lot going on because this is the right way it's just a very fuss free sunscreen which is what i really love about this and finally i really like the sustainable nature of this product so cordley actually collects plastic from the oceans and uses it to create their products so i do like how this is made from recycled plastics from the ocean so you know that when you're buying this you are doing your little bit just to help save the planet which i really like i think that's less about the actual product and more just about the overall <laughs> packaging and branding from Cordly, but that's still something that I really like about this on screen. So now I'm just gonna jump onto a couple of the things that I'm not really a big fan of when it comes to the sunscreen. To be fair, I was really scratching my head a lot to find these two negatives, which they're not really negatives that much, but I was like, you know, I need to include at least one negative about the sunscreen. So I think the first thing for me that I'm not the biggest fan about is this is not the most hydrating of sunscreens. So if you have dry skin, like I have dry skin, your skin can get a bit dehydrated, you get a bit peely and crusty every now and again. You're gonna need to bolster this with a moisturizer or a moisturizer plus an extra finger of sunscreen. When I apply the sunscreen, I usually only do about two fingers of sunscreen, but on days when my skin is just feeling super dry and needed that extra bit of moisture and hydration, I will go in with a third finger. However, I am always wearing moisturizer underneath, but I think if you have dry skin, like I have dry skin, you won't want to ditch the moisturizer because this isn't that hydrating. That said, this has days where it is hydrating, but I'm gonna say that on the days when it's sunnier and your skin is producing more oils, then this is more hydrating but on the days where it's not as sunny and it's a bit cloudy outside this isn't that hydrating but i think if you do have dry skin i would definitely layer this with a moisturizer and a serum and some toner and some essence just to help keep your skin hydrated underneath because this is not the most hydrating on its own and then finally the last thing that i don't really like about this sunscreen this is not a dislike at all this is more of a cautious be aware of it is this is a very fluid 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 product i don't know if you can hear but when i shake it it's literally like there's water like swashing about inside of this so i think if you're not used to fluid sunscreens then you just need to be cautious that when you are squeezing this out into your finger this will slip and slide all over the place unless you're very careful and i've had a few near accidents with this sunscreen just because it's very fluid i think this is probably the most fluid sunscreen i've ever tried i think before this one there was the paula's choice um, i can't remember the name of it it's like an anti-aging it was a blue one i'll have it on the screen but that's really been the only other really fluid sunscreen that i've tried although no, i'm sure there's been others i'm sure there are others but this is just super fluid so if you don't like fluid sunscreens then just be aware that this is super fluid but if you do like a fluid sunscreen then you can't go wrong. So the all important question, will I rebuy the sunscreen? The answer is a resounding yes. Love the sunscreen. I would definitely rebuy the sunscreen. It's very lightweight. There's no white cast. It pairs well with makeup. There are so many good things about the sunscreen that I think you need to use it to really see what the good things are. But even just from my face, I've got a nice, lovely glow going. My skin looks so clear and gorgeous and nice. I do really love the sunscreen. I think compared to the Vino Perfect sunscreen that I tried last year, this is a clear winner. This has probably been my favorite sunscreen that I've used this summer, which says a lot because I've been using a lot of sunscreens this summer and I have actually liked all of the sunscreens that I've used, but this has been by far the winning sunscreen of summer 2022. Okie dokie guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments. If you've tried the sunscreen, also please let me know your thoughts. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Do you recommend it? I want to know all the things. If you've not used this sunscreen and you like the sound of it, please also let me know. And yeah, thanks again for watching. And in the meantime, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah.